going to show you how to do screenshots three different ways. First, you have the snipping tool, which has been around in Windows for a long time, all the way back to Windows Vista. People have learned how to use it over the years, and I still like to go back to it every once in a while. However, there's also a new version of the snipping tool called Snip and Sketch, newly improved version of the one above, as you can see right there. And then last year, Windows came out with something new. It's the Windows 10 screenshot built-in feature, and it's a combination of the keys, the Windows key, the Shift key, and the S key all at the same time, and then you can create a snip on the fly. These are all called screenshots, and I'll show you how to do each one right now. First, let's take a look at the steps to creating a screenshot using the snipping tool. What you'll do first is type snip into the search box in the bottom left corner. That is called the Cortana search. And in that search box, you'll just simply type something like snip. So I'll just click on my little search button right down here in the bottom left corner, a magnifying glass button or spyglass button. When I click on it, I can just bring up the Cortana search. And now I'll type in snip and immediately it brings up the snipping tool. So I'll either click right here or I can go over and click open either way and it brings up the snipping tool. Now I'm going to create a new snip. So I'll click new. And now all I have to do, I have my little plus sign and when I click on it, all I have to do is just trace around this box. This is all I want to show is the login screen. I don't need the background or photo or anything like that. So as I trace around it, I have a snip that I can just place into some other document or into an email. If I've had a technical support problem and I need to contact the help desk, for example, I could easily save this or pop it into an email. If I want to save it, I just go to File, Save As, or Control S. I can save it right to my desktop, for example, so it's easy to get to. And I'll call it Clever Login Screen. And I'm just going to save it right there to the desktop so it's easy to get to in the future. If I wanted to copy and paste it into an email, I could just go to Edit, Copy, or Control C, compose a new email, and then do Control V, or right click Paste, and I've now pasted it right into an email. Doing a Google Doc, I can quickly whip up a Google Doc by typing doc.new. And that'll bring up a brand new blank Google Doc. And then inside that Google Doc, I can right click, paste, and resize it if needed. Or just do the keyboard shortcut of Control V. So that's the snipping tool. Now I'm going to go to Snip and Sketch and show you how that works. Again, I'm going to search for the word snip. Just type in snip into the Cortana search box. This time, you'll see that I have apps, and one of the apps is Snip and Sketch. So if I click the little triangle over to the right, there's Snip and Sketch. Now, if I'd like to create a shortcut to Snip and Sketch, I'll just right click on the icon here and choose Pin to Taskbar. It then appears on my taskbar and I can drag it wherever I'd like it to go. So I'd like it right here and that's where I'll place it and use it in the future. That brings it up and I can click new or as you can see, if I hover over the new button, I can also do control N to bring up a new snip. And now I can trace over any screen that I'd like. I don't really want to do a screenshot of this. So I'll click X if I want to cancel the screenshot. And I want to go back over to that Clever screen right here. This, this is the screen that I'd like to do a screenshot of. So with Snip and Sketch open, I can do Control N or New. Also, if you click on this little drop-down menu, you have the option to snip in three seconds, a delayed snip. I could also delay it for 10 seconds. But if I just want to snip it now, I can click Snip Now. And you get this little floating toolbar right here at the top. What these buttons mean are I have a freeform snip if I'd like. There's also window snip where it only does the contents of the window that you have on top. And then there's the full screen snip, which would allow you to do the entire screen, toolbars and all, top toolbar as well as the bottom toolbar, the clock, everything. 
but I don't really need to show that either. So I'm going to go back to my original choice, which was rectangular snip. And now I get the plus sign or crosshairs, and I'll just drag across it like that and try to make a perfect square if possible. Let go. And there I now have a more square shaped snip or screenshot. If I click this little floppy disk icon or do control S, I can save it. And there's a three dotted button here, the vertical ellipses, and I can print it, open it with another program, or a screenshot that I've created in the past can be opened here with this option. I can zoom in if I'd like to by clicking this little spyglass with a plus sign. But I'd like to go back to view the actual size by clicking here. I can do a little markup with the highlighters. I have a ballpoint pen, a pencil, a highlighter, and an eraser. There's also a ruler, and I can crop the image. If I don't like exactly the way it turned out, I can just click that button. I don't want the little black corner showing here, so I could move that in and fix this. And then when I'm done highlighting, I can apply that crop by clicking the little check mark or pressing enter on the keyboard. And now I have a perfectly cut out screenshot. This could also, instead of being saved, it could also be copied pressing this button. Now I can go back and right click paste or control V and paste it right into that document and resize it to whatever I'd like. If you'd like an edge or a border around your screenshot, I like doing this border weight and I'll just choose one point and it adds a nice little dark border around it so it doesn't appear to be floating in midair. So those are some of the features of Snip and Sketch, a bit more powerful tool than what you have with the snipping tool. And now let's take a look at the built-in Windows 10 screenshot tool. Again, I have my Clever screen here and I'd like to take a screenshot of this. So I'll press the Shift key, the Windows key, and the S key all at the same time. Again, your window will dim just like it did in Snip and Sketch. You've got the same toolbar as you had in Snip and Sketch. And now I'll just trace around this little square box. This is all I want to show in my screenshot. Let go, and you have captured this screen. Then go into the document you'd like to paste it into, Control V. And as I said earlier, I like to add a border around it so it doesn't look like it's just floating. I'll come up here to the borders, click a one point border, and I now have a nice dark border around my screenshot. I can resize it now and it looks good. While this is probably the quickest way to create a screenshot, it doesn't give you all the options that you have with Snip and Sketch. And you have to remember the keyboard shortcut to use. So there's a bit of a trade out there. But those are three ways that you can create screenshots during the school year this year. Thanks for joining me.